minimize risk. It's my favorite strategy, and it's great for folks your age. Now, the next strategy is very simple, and I'm going to end with the, the fourth strategy, which is simply portfolio rebalancing. If you just draw a circle and think about your 401k, and let's pretend you have four asset classes, large cap, small cap, international, and bonds. So you got four asset classes and draw a pie. You got four equal pieces of the pie. Over time, let's say the large cap did what the large cap did in the last few months. They just went off the charts. So now, a few months later, instead of having a balanced portfolio with 25% in each asset class, now your large cap is like 50% of your portfolio. It's not a quarter. It's not a piece of the pie and even quarter of the pie now it's much much bigger and international shrunk it just went way down like those cows it just went way down it's like month number four of cows where it's 20 bucks a head for cows now you're international your emerging market those investments have dropped to so low and you could be like joe and you could say i gotta get out i'm gonna sell them all put it all in the large cap and that's a mistake Portfolio rebalancing is like dollar cost averaging. It's a systematic way to rebalance your portfolio and take advantage of the highs and the lows in, in those asset classes so that over time, it's like doing dollar cost averaging as you invest into your investments and portfolio rebalancing as you take advantage of the movements within the investments that you've already made that are already there growing, that are already allocated to those asset classes. As those asset classes swell and shrink, you just rebalance. And over time, that investment strategy is designed to maximize your returns, minimize your risk. Diversive four asset, I'm sorry, four investment strategies designed to help you maximize returns and minimize risk. Number one is diversification. Bill and the Enron story didn't do it and it he paid for it. Number two is asset allocation. The number one most important determinant of your portfolio's return, asset allocation. Number three, my favorite, the most powerful investment strategy designed to maximize returns and minimize risk, Farmer Joe and dollar cost averaging. And then finally, the fourth investment strategy designed to maximize returns and minimize risk, portfolio rebalancing. It's very simple. Sometimes you can set it and forget it, do it every six months, once a year, once a quarter, probably don't want to do it more often than that, but it's a very easy to implement strategy in your 401k, your IRA, your, four, your Roth IRA. So those are the four strategies designed to maximize returns and minimize risk. And when I do this video and post it on YouTube, I'll put some some images and helpful stuff so that you can kind of see it as I'm talking through it. But I hope that's helpful. Um, I want to, it's time to close out. I'm a little bit over. So thanks for hanging out. And um, I'll post this on YouTube. Remember, go back and watch it again. Hit the fast forward button so you don't have to hear me talk real slow. But you want to remember these four investment strategies. They're going to be very helpful. Not, And I'm not just talking about your capstone assignment. They will help you in the capstone assignment, but they're really going to help you in real life. And that's why they're four of my favorite stories and four of my favorite strategies. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great week.